literally sin. In every ancient text, women are described as sinful creatures. The bit the apple and fuck all of us. If they're not guided by a man and they have free will, they lead to self-destruction. This is not woman bashing, this is facts. Women are the most liberated they've ever been in history. They're making the most money. And what are they doing? OnlyFans, naked on Instagram, thirst trap videos. Like they're literally demoralizing themselves. They don't need us to say them. They're doing it themselves. No matter what position in life they get in, judge, pastor, cop, or teacher, they always go back Sales. This is why them dudes in the Middle East who be having no big head to toe cover up because we know if we give you the freedom, you're going to be out here causing hell in the streets. Every war from the streets to ancient times, if you dig deep enough, a woman was behind that shit. I think it's really funny that this XY conveniently failed to mention the fact that all of these ancient texts were written by misogynistic XYs who were seeking to gain dominion and control over women. So we all know that this is a projection. And this is what these XYs always do and have done from the beginning of time because they feel uncomfortable with their own depraved thoughts and fantasies. So they need somebody else to project their toxicity onto because they don't want to feel like bad people. So they'll project that onto the subject that has aroused those feelings in themselves, namely women, us. They're the ones who smexualize us. They're the ones who lust after us. They're the ones with the depraved, violent fantasies that make them so uncomfortable that they have to point the finger and blame a woman for their own actions and their own thought processes and toxic mentalities. This is just another classic case of an XY being unable to take accountability for his own actions. Like who told him to click on the corn sites? Who told him to click on the OnlyFans pages or the Instagram thirst traps? If you have an addiction to corn, sir, that's a you problem. Maybe you should work on yourself. Because clearly every woman is not a corn star or a smex worker. And mind you, I can go in on how the women who are voluntarily and of their own volition on corn sites or doing smex work or OnlyFans are playing a role. Like all of the depraved things that she tells you that she loves to do, it's not true. And of course we can have our own preferences and fetishes and fantasies. And for anyone who needs to hear it, yes, it's important for us to be sensual. It's important for us to explore our likes and our dislikes and really get to know ourselves on that level. And most of all, it's important for us to enjoy ourselves because we came here in these vessels for a reason. But when a woman is working and doing her job, like, come on, it's, it's just a job. Literally, she is acting out your fantasies because that's what she's paid to do. She's a paid actress. So it's crazy. Like when she says, oh yeah, like I love a man who does mm, 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 and I love to mm, on your mm, and like all of that stuff is fake. Like, <laughs> like they don't even know it's fake. And that's really sad, actually. It's like really pathetic and sad that like these dudes can't tell the fantasy and the projections from reality. In fact, the number of these women who are smex workers who will tell you that these dudes actually think that they're in love and they're gonna get married and they tell them all their problems and all their deepest secrets and oh my god, like they think it's real. They think it's real. I feel like this needs to be studied. But anyway, I'm going on a tangent here. The point is that they have to blame women for their own mentalities because otherwise they wouldn't be able to justify why they'd be fit to be leaders of society if they have so many addictions and inadequacies and so much toxicity and mental hang-ups and issues and depraved thoughts. Like they're always fighting demons and the sovereign woman actually has a really good breakdown of that. But every toxic thing about themselves has to be purged and casted out of themselves and onto someone else so that they can feel like they have some kind of moral high ground or authority and like they've earned their position to have dominion over everybody else. Even when we know that they're ruling by might alone because they're big and strong and dangerous and violent and predatory. And that's what's really scary about the religious aspect of this because when women are defined by their God as evil, when they say that we're evil and this is something ordained by God, then it becomes really easy for them to start to justify the harm of us. And it's just like that analogy where they've projected everything they don't like about themselves onto a mirror 
there instead of knowing that they're seeing themselves and it would take self-reflection and change within to change what they see in the mirror. Instead, they just want to destroy the mirror. They want to externalize all of their flaws and faults and say that that's the mirror. But when that mirror is a woman, now they've sanctified and justified the harm of women. I can really go into this topic, but I don't have the time nor the bandwidth right now in a casual reaction to really get into this. But what I will say is that religion was never meant for women. Religion was meant for males. It was meant, and it really serves its greatest purpose, to modify the behavior of an XY because he's the one with all of these issues. He's the one with the quote unquote sinful thoughts and behaviors. He needs to be reined in. He has to gain mastery over self and mastery over his own actions instead of always projecting outwards and seeking to control everyone around him. Asceticism is practiced mainly by males for this reason so that they can gain some kind of control over themselves and their own impulses, not women. There are some really great creators who also speak to this. And if you have the time and if you're so inclined, please check them out. Cassandra Faye Floyd is one of them. Also, of course, Shira Seven. Not her main channel where she teaches us the game, but her esoteric channel, Ashira Star Goddess, is a really good one too. Especially, like, go back to her old videos from a couple of years ago, because that's a treasure trove. Claire Nakti as well. She'll talk about astrology, but she also talks about the male and female principles. And from all of these different perspectives, you're still getting the same conclusion that women aren't meant to be bound. And if y'all have any other female creators that you want to name in the comment section below, feel free to list them. I'm saying female because I know that there are a lot of males in the spiritual and esoteric space on YouTube. And it's really interesting because they seem to dominate the sector. I don't think that's by coincidence, but for whatever reason, they're the channels that tend to get millions or hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And I really want this place to be somewhere where we can share information from women for women. But yeah, we all know that religion was used to bind women and dominate us, but the aesthetic nature of it, the controlling of oneself, going to these sermons and having this externalized knowledge given to us, the nature of it is very male. We are meant to be more free and and free flowing like water and all of the information that we need to know all of the wisdom of the cosmos and the universe that's all encoded within us our learning is much more subconscious it's like a waking up of this information we already are so connected with the cosmos and source that we only need to go within and the answers are there but i digress even in the book the gift of fear by gavin de becker he talks about how males are more violent than women and women's violence is negligible in the face of all of the violence committed by males and we don't need need to go to a book and statistics to basically say what we see every day. But my point is that when being honest, even males will tell you. And it's no wonder why with more of us distancing ourselves from these XYs and not wanting to deal with them, that more of them are becoming more Christian and right wing and conservative even if this doesn't benefit them in any other way. Because a lot of these guys are like poor. A lot of them are disenfranchised. But they see that these conservative parties are rolling back the autonomy and the human rights of women. And that's really appealing to them. So they'll vote against all of their other interests to be able to have some kind of stake, some kind of claim and control and access to us. So it's really scary out here. I hope that the male worshippers that are out there, I hope that they see how these males, even the ones who they thought would have some kind of political solidarity with them, will go with patriarchy. And it's funny because you won't even find these guys in church or being active members of their religious communities. It's like, no, this is the only thing that they want is that bottom line. They want control over women. So they'll choose to direct the US into a theocracy instead of a democracy. And Bourbon Bushi talks a lot about that on her channel. So I don't know, but that brings me to my last point. Okay, so I'm done talking about the XY. He's evil and demonic. Like <laughs> I'm just gonna sage my screen afterwards because I want his essence gone from my screen at this point. But I know that there are a few Christians who are on our channel. I don't care what you wanna believe in personally. That is your choice. Even though you're not gonna get me to believe that this universe was created by a male or that Jesus is not a slave ship but I'm going to kindly ask for y'all to stop proselytizing on this channel. We're not a Christian channel. I have nothing against your own lifestyle, but on this channel, we're not Christian. We don't practice any patriarchal religion here. And y'all really need to know that. Um, there are also people who are on this channel who have religious trauma. And this is supposed to be a space that's safe for all women. So know that we don't support you because you're a Christian. We're supporting you because you're a woman. So I'm asking respectfully, please no more Bible quotes, no more proselytizing, no more like just believe in Jesus, none of that. Now you can put some Bible verses if you're going to decode them like an esoteric decoding. But otherwise, 
we don't want it on the channel. Please don't put it on the channel. So anyway, that's my TED Talk. If you have any comments or anything to add, please put them in the comment section below because we'd love to hear from y'all. Please remember to do all the things, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and we'll see you in the next one.